I know that the most intelligent way to start making a lot of money is to find a way to get at least $100,000 in debt before you even begin making money. So I decided to go to college. College isn't for most people. It's for all people. If you don't get a degree, then you're declaring you want to be homeless, unhappy, and a failure for the rest of your life. Having a college degree has now been the standard for so long that everyone in the workforce has one. So you having one makes you just like everyone else. And at the same time, somehow your degree sets you apart from everyone else. And if you don't see the brilliance in how this helps you, then you're not very intelligent. And you clearly didn't go to college. My college degree is social validation that I'm someone. I earned it. And I earned it by paying for it. There's no other ways to verify that I'm an intelligent person capable of success and doing big things in the world. Imagine if people were born with innate brilliance, potential, vision, creativity, and ability. Then we wouldn't need college. But that's not the fantasy world that we live in, from what I'm told. So I think it's important to acknowledge that those innate qualities are only found in university educations. If you don't go to college, there's no chance that you'll have a successful career. Success isn't dependent on hard work, vision, and creativity. It's dependent on the degree you achieve before you start achieving in your career. I can't think of anyone who's successful who doesn't have a degree. Not a single person. Especially not anybody that inspires me. What excites me even more than the $100,000 of tuition costs for a degree is all the interest that I have the opportunity to pay on that loan. This adds even more value to my college education because it means I pay more for my education than what my education costs because I can't afford my education. Teachers who only teach a subject rather than actually doing the subject out in the world are the true purveyors of wisdom. They're basically like the wise elders in our society, and they're definitely the wise sages that I'm willing to go into debt for half my life for so that I can learn from them. From early elementary school, I was taught to think that I need to do well in school so that I can get accepted into college so that I can have a successful career. Because that's what I was taught to think, I think that's what I actually think. Therefore, I think that getting a degree is not only a guarantee that I'll have a successful future, but I also think that it's the only way I can have a successful future. And that's a fact. Because there isn't a way to get free information about anything anytime you want it, I think universities are completely justified in charging their customers the prices that they do. Because 30 years ago a college degree would set you apart, it means it still does today. It's just like once upon a time, a horse and buggy was the most effective form of transportation. Then came cars, then came airplanes, but even still to this day, a horse and buggy is the most effective form of transportation. What kind of job do I have now that I'm out of college? I'm unemployed. But last month I had a job for three days. I was hired by an 18-year-old tech entrepreneur. But then he said he had to let me go because I lacked the practical skills to get my job done well. He acted like he didn't even know that I have a degree. He probably doesn't even know what a degree is. Probably thinks in Celsius or something. But my prospects are looking good. Here's my new plan. I'm gonna take all the skills I learned in my MBA and open a video rental store.